It's a real pleasure to have Robert Schuler with us. A lot of you know him, in fact, most of you know him from uh, years of exposure on uh, the Crystal Cathedral program with his, uh, with his father. He's uh, a man who has had a significant impact in America and Canada and, and the world for many years and uh, recently has uh, launched out in a whole new direction. He's come by the studio today to talk about all of that and I'm looking forward to uh, spending this time with you, Robert. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. It's so nice to have you here in it's person. A it's a pleasure to be here. I wasn't planning on this, you know. Well, I know. It's, it's just a sort of surprise, and things just, happen that way. And yeah, I'm just trying to get used God, to you without... That's the way God is. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to you without your robes. You, you know, you, you, <laughs> Robe? Well, how about a coat and tie, man? Look, <laughs> hey, can I borrow your coat and tie? Yeah, then I'll well, feel a little better. No, no, you know? no, no, no. You look very contemporary. Robert, um, we, we got a lot to talk about. But I think we should start from uh, the point of interest that most people, I'd, I would think... Uh, would share, and that is, why are you no longer uh, the senior pastor of the Crystal Cathedral? Why are you no longer on the program? Um, because I'm not on there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> why? why? <laughs> you know, why? <laughs> There's an evasive answer. No, seriously, what, what, what happened? Oh, that was a couple of years ago yeah. already now. Yeah. And um, basically in July of 08, um, uh, the board, with my father's direction, decided to make my uh, brother-in-law as my my boss. And uh, August, we August, uh, everyone kind of takes off. There's not a whole lot going on. Start up again in September, and I started preaching in September. And um, and my 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 bosses decided that my sermons weren't good enough for the hour of power. And by October, they said they went. They had to have other preachers in the pulpit on Sunday morning, so I was allowed to preach any time other than Sunday morning. And so with that, I resigned. End of story. By, by what criteria did they determine your sermons weren't good enough? <laughs> you know, it's, you'll have to ask them that. I, uh, that's beyond my, my knowledge. I don't know. I thought they were good sermons. They never told you? Uh, the, the, the I mean, they didn't critique. They just said, "Okay, Robert, now if you, here, here's where the you're... word." I, the word I had was, "They weren't anointed." <laughs> they weren't anointed. Really? <laughs> That's what I was told. What can I say? Because it's interesting. But that... you know, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So we could sit there and hash all of that, or we can come to the conclusion that for some reason God didn't want me there anymore. Yeah. And I think that's the conclusion you have to come with, because for some reason God had a different different plan for my life, and there's, you know, I, I can't second guess the hand of no, God. You no, can't either. No. I, I I know sometimes you think you can. Yeah. I know sometimes I think I can. I think uh, sometimes I think the people who are watching on the program think they can too. Yeah. But the fact is no one can. If somebody yeah. tells you, hey, in fact, I hate it when people come to me and says, you know, God wants you to do this. I hate that. Yeah. I feel like that. That's spiritual abuse. It's like I agree. You don't, you don't know what God wants. <laughs> I, I don't know what God wants. Nobody does. I remember. I remember this cute. Unless it's scriptural. I remember this cute girl that um, I, I, she's a pastor's daughter that I was a friend with, and yeah. this, this guy came along one time and said, "The Lord has told me that you and I should go together." And she says, "Well, come back exactly. when he talks to me about it." <laughs> you know, you, you don't you don't allow people to abuse you that way. Yeah. Now, did this impact your relationship with your father? Yeah, it did. Sure. Um, we, did, we didn't talk for a long time. Um, how is it going now? Very well, actually. Yeah. yeah. You've, you've resolved things. Mm -hmm. We have. Actually, it was um, the day before Father's Day. Really? Yeah. You want to talk about that? Um, my son kind of made the made a meeting happen, and uh, we sat in his living room, and and there was some repentance and. And, and repentance is a, is a good thing.